Hi, it's Linda from CreativePillar.com. I'm in mid-journey, and I've been making um, cards or frames for some affirmation cards that I'm working on. And uh, this size is uh, three and a half by five. Fits perfectly. You can put four on a U.S. letter size page, so it fits perfect. And um, but making the image is the easy part, okay? Because I just mix four at a time, and then you can click this. And then it's going to give you four more images based on this same prompt that you had. And so it goes pretty fast. And when I first started doing this, nobody told me of the other work that had to be done uh, to finish these images up. And you can see how quickly it is. I click the button. You know, you're watching it live. And it takes about, it takes less than a minute. Now, on Playground I, AI, um, it takes roughly a minute to create the four images. Bing Image Creator, again, uh, takes a little less than a minute to do that. Uh, so this is the easy part. Cleaning these up and finish them is what's going to take the time. And so I like these. I'm not going to personally download any of these right now because I already have eight um, that I'm going to show you how to finish up. So the first thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to upscale them. So this image, when it's a square, and I have a square image here that I was doing for some um, other things. When it's a square image like these, uh, it makes pretty wall art or pretty, you know, actually scrapbooks, you know. Uh, when it's a, a square image like this, it's 1024 pixels squared. And that's what Playground AI does as well. You can change it if you want it to be uh, more like this, a rectangle rather than a square. But it's most of them are 1024 pixels, either square or the largest size. In this case, the height would be 1024 pixels. Okay, so then you need to upscale it because we need uh, 1024 pixels is about three and a third inches. And so we need to upscale the images. Now, for a long time I was using I Love IMG. I've used it for a lot of the things. Look at all the things that it does. It resizes images, it crops images. I've used it for cropping a lot. You can change it from a JPEG to a PNG uh, or, or back again. Uh, you can compress images if you've ever used Canva and you know, you're uploading images for a planner or to package them somehow, and it said, oh, sorry, this one's too big, it's over 25 megabytes, and you, know, you need a smaller image. Then you just come over here and you compress it and it works great. Upscale, remove background, and this also does a meme generator, which I've never used, okay? So IMG, I love IMG is free, it's a free service. However, this is what happens when you upscale. Okay, so there's pros and cons to all of these. I'm going to select the images. The problem is you can only do three at a time. So I'm going to upload those three, and I have a total of eight so far, but sometimes I have 50 images. And so I want you to watch it and think about how long it would take you to do 50 images to upscale them in a batch processing. Okay, so we haven't done anything yet. It's just now loading. Okay. And yes, I have a lot of tabs open. So I'm going to click 4x because I want it four times. I've scaled four times. I want to make it roughly 4,000 uh, pixels square, which is roughly, you know, three and a half, 3.6 inches square, up uh, 13.6 inches square. And then I'm going to click upscale. Okay. And it's going to do three at a time. And then I'm going to, and it's going to download this three. And then I can do three more. And so where it took, maybe 15 or 20 seconds to actually create the image, it takes several minutes to start upscaling. And if I have to do them three at a time, it's going to take quite a while, especially if you have 40 or 50 images to do. Okay, so our next option is, and this is free, okay? Okay, we're ready to go. It took about a minute. I didn't time it, but it feels like it took about a minute. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put it on my desktop because I don't want to put anything in that folder. Okay, yes, we'll replace it. Okay, so another option is AI Image Enlarger, and it's actually imglarger.com. And I've got the pricing here. This is not free. You can try it, and I did try it first before I paid. You can try it first, but you only get to do 10 images a month on the free plan. 
It's not a subscription, and you can't do batching, okay? But at 10 images a month, it wouldn't matter whether you did batching or not because you can only do 10 images, okay? At $29, and this is a year price, this is not a month, at $29 a year, you can do 100 credits per month. And quite honestly, most months, I don't do 100 images. Um, if I find that I haven't used all my images for one month, uh, and it's getting toward the end of the month, I will go in and I will use up what I have, but it's really never been a problem, and you can do batch processing on this. I have this plan, this $49 a year, and I get a 1,000 credits per month. There's no way I've used a 1,000, but you get that batch processing, go, it goes a lot faster, okay, and it really is fast. This is a normal speed, this is a fast speed. And so let's go over here, and I'll show you how to do this now. The beauty of this is you can't upload as many images as you want. However, whoops, one, two, three, four, five. You can do five at a time and you start them and then you can go back up here and you can do the other three because I only have eight here today, normally I have. So technically you could do 10 at a time because you can do five and then you could upload another five. You can't do more than that, but that's 10 at a time. And it's pretty fast. You're going to see how fast it, this one's already processed. And it goes really fast because I've got that fast speed with that $49 a year price. Okay. And so I'm not an affiliate for these people. I'm just sharing what it is that I do. Okay. Now, there is a third option that I've used. And it's called Upscale, U-P-S-C-A-Y-L dot org. And this is completely free. And they do have uh, a cloud version that's coming soon. But you have to sign up for it because it's not available right now. I downloaded the program to my computer. And um, here is, I, I uploaded those eight images. And I did this 20 minutes ago. And they're still processing. So I would select, I would say batch up scale. I would select my folder. And then I would just tell it which folder my images there are. And I would keep this general photo. I would select an output folder where it's going to put all of my images. And then I would just click the button and I'm good to go. Now, I will tell you that I tried this before and I had 50 images of my celestial moons that I was doing. I had 50 images and it took over two hours to do. So... Uh, there's a trade-off for everything. This is totally free, uh, but but you're losing out on the time. And if time, if you need them right away, you're not going to get it with this. It's going to take quite a while. Um, if you, however, you can see this is already done. While we were looking at the other one, these are ready to be downloaded. And I could do, it does 10 in a couple of minutes. So, but this one's a paid version. And the other ones, the other two are totally free. So it's just a question of if you do this a lot, you might want to invest in a program that's going to let you batch more um, than using that free program that takes a very long time. And that's it. And I'm going to just call this something so I know what it is. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. In the next video, we're going to talk about changing the resolution because you want upscaled images, you want 300 DPI on all images that you sell or you use in your products because they don't print very well if they're not the correct dots print. That's what DPI is. And so you need 300 DPI. We're going to do that in PhotoP, which is free. And I use that all the time. They, they do want you to make a donation or sign up to get rid of ads. I've not done that yet. $60 for a year, they want you to do that. But we're going to go there in the next video and show you how to uh, get rid of the background and change the resolution. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, keep creating.